Hello everyone. Welcome to the multi-threading programming in C#. -Sharp. In this video, we will discuss about auto reset event in multi-threading in C#. -Sharp. In the previous video, where we discuss about the manual reset event. So in manual reset event, where one thread signal all other waiting threads start automatically. Where auto reset event is slightly different from it. So let's understand it. What is auto reset event? So auto reset event is used for send signal between two threads. Both threads share the same auto reset event object thread, and basically th that thread can enter into a wait state uh, by calling wait one method of auto reset event object. When second thread call the set method, it unblock the waiting uh, thread. So we will understand clearly like what is the meaning. of it when we will do uh, like practically so basically let's understand how this auto reset event works so auto reset event event maintain a boolean variable in memory like the manual reset event so if the boolean variable is false then it block the thread and if the boolean variable is true it unblock the thread and it is also working same in the manual reset event also and when we initiate a auto reset event object we pass the default value of boolean value in the constructor and same we used to do in the manual reset event also and below is the syntax of initiate a auto reset event and that is the auto reset event and the object we create and we either pass the false and the true and as we have seen in the manual reset event also we create a object of the manual reset event and either we pass it as a false or true if it is a false means it uh, like it uh, hold the thread to execute and once if, if it is true then it allow thread to uh, a code uh, like execute the code so let's understand it by practically so this is the example like currently i have created even write method and what i am doing here i am calling this write method from a loop and this is a normal method now basically like for an example like there is a situation i want to write something on the file some data on the file now when i am writing on that uh, particular file then i don't want other file to start writing like that other file has to wait so some kind of the situation i am going to write so for that one we have to go with the auto reset event so first as like previously we have to do auto reset event and let's take the event equal to new auto reset event let's pass the false here now after passing the false here what we have to do we have to call the wait one method so for that one let's write here like event so first we have to make it as a static since we are using in the static method so now let's write event dot wait one and now before that one like we we will take a one more console so let's i'll copy this and here what i will do is waiting and after all the operation done what i will do i will make it as a event dot set so basically what will happen the meaning of the set like the manual reset event the meaning of the set is like the setting the value of this is true now in this situation like first of all we can see it is like in the constructor we are passing as a false so means like when the thread will start executing like for an example the first time if it is in the loop will call this method so when it will call it will print the waiting and then it will check wait one so currently if it is we are passing as a false then what will happen it will not allow to execute further code because it is waiting to allow like it is basically basically waiting for event dot set event so it will not allow at point of this time to run this code now even i will go for the second loop the value will be false and it will not allow the further so five times if i will run at point of this time so what will happen this thread will be waiting so what we have to pass here in this case we have to pass the true value here so once uh, like after passing the true value and if i will run this code so let's see what output we get 
and we can see now like right thread waiting and another right uh, right thread waiting working so like when the uh, like right thread completed the another thread start working now when the another thread completed then next thread start uh, working so basically like one thread when start working then another thread is waiting so in that way like the process is happening so we can see from here like uh, for an example once one thread is completed then another thread start working when that uh, particular thread completed then another thread is started working and in this way it is going on here and we can see at a time only one thread is allowed to execute in auto reset event so uh, that's why it is slightly different from manual um, reset event where one thread wait and uh, another thread is going on with the execution but here at a time only one thread do the execution but there is a problem with this auto reset event and what is that let's see so here what i am going to do from the main thread i am like thread dot slip and this i am going to do let's four second and here what i am going to do i am going to set from here like i am going to set the value so previously like what is happening at a time one uh, thread was working but as of now like when i will run with like when i am setting it from the main thread we will see like at a time like multiple thread will start executing like at a time it will not work with the one thread and we can see with this here so to understand it better what i will do here is here i will write thread dot current thread dot main is thread id this i am going to append here and let's copy this one so through this one what we can get we can see the current thread now let's run this application so when i will run this application let's see what output it will give so we can see like currently 8 5 and this one like 8 is completed 6 is working 5 is also completed 7 is working and 6 see 6 is um, still working but 7 is also started working from here so like at a time multiple thread is started working when we set that event value in the main thread so that is the problem with the auto reset event and that we can resolve by using the mutex and that mutex we will discuss in the next video so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you